Simplified World Traveler is taking you on a don't-miss tour of the top 10 places to visit in Europe. A continent bursting with diverse cultures, history, and natural beauty offers endless opportunities for exploration and adventure. Let's start off our journey in Paris, France. Paris, steeped in centuries of history, emerged as a major center of finance, commerce, fashion, science, and the arts in the 17th century. This city of light captivates visitors with its unique blend of historical grandeur and contemporary life. The Eiffel Tower, an iconic symbol of Paris, offers breathtaking views of the cityscape, especially enchanting at night when it sparkles with thousands of lights. Another must-visit is the Louvre Museum, home to thousands of works of art, including the Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo providing a deep dive into artistic masterpieces. The best time to visit Paris is during April, May, September, and October, when the weather is generally mild and the city is less crowded. During these months, strolling along the Seine River or exploring the streets of Montmartre offers a delightful experience, capturing the essence of Parisian life. For our next stop, we head to Rome, Italy. Rome, known as the Eternal City, has a rich history that spans over 28 centuries, once the heart of the mighty Roman Empire. Its timeless allure lies in its incredible blend of ancient ruins, stunning art, and vibrant street life. A must-visit is the Colosseum, an ancient amphitheater that once hosted gladiator contests and public spectacles. Another highlight is the Vatican City home to the awe-inspiring St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums, where you can marvel at Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. April, May, September, and October are some of the best months to visit Rome when the weather is pleasantly mild. During these months, walking through the historical cobbled streets of Trastevere or enjoying an evening at the Spanish Steps provides an authentic Roman experience, immersing you in the city's majestic past and lively present. Next, let's explore the historic city of London, England. London, with a history tracing back to Roman times, has evolved into a bustling metropolis, blending historic charm with cultural delights. This city is a hub for arts, entertainment, and history. One of the many attractions in this historical city is the British Museum, a treasure trove of global artifacts, including the Rosetta Stone and the Egyptian mummies, offers a journey through time. Another key attraction is the Tower of London, a historic castle that has been a royal palace, prison, and even a zoo. Visiting London during late spring and early fall is ideal, specifically May, June, September, and October. During these months, the city experiences mild weather, ideal for exploring famous landmarks like Buckingham Palace or the scenic beauty of Hyde Park. Additionally, these months are perfect for enjoying London's vibrant street markets, such as Borough Market for food lovers or Camden Market for unique crafts and clothes. Now, let's venture to Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, Spain, founded by the Romans, is a city rich in history and renowned for its art and architecture. It's a vibrant destination where ancient streets meet modern living. One of the many highlights of this amazing city is the Sagrada Familia, an unfinished basilica by Antoni Gaudi, whose unique designs combine Gothic and Art Nouveau forms. Another must-see is Park Guay, also designed by Gaudi which offers a whimsical escape with its colorful mosaics and panoramic views of the city. Consider visiting Barcelona in May, June, or September when the weather is warm and pleasant, ideal for strolling along La Rambla, a bustling street, or relaxing on Barceloneta Beach. During these months, you can also enjoy outdoor dining in the Gothic Quarter, immersing yourself in the local culture and savory Spanish cuisine. Now, we sail to the canals of Venice, Italy. Venice, a city built on over 100 small islands in a lagoon in the Adriatic Sea, has no roads, just canals, 
It was a major financial and maritime power during the Middle Ages and Renaissance. This unique city is famed for its beautiful waterways and rich history. You definitely don't want to miss a gondola ride through the winding canals, offering a serene experience and a unique perspective of the city's architecture. Another key attraction is St. Mark's Basilica, a stunning example of Italo-Byzantine architecture. The best months to visit Venice are April, May, September, and October, when the weather is mild and the city is less crowded. During these months, exploring the historic Doge's Palace or wandering through the vibrant Rialto Market provides a captivating experience of Venice's heritage and local life. But before we continue on to even more amazing places, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel where we regularly add new and exciting destinations from around the world. Heading north, let's visit Amsterdam, Netherlands. Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, has a rich history dating back to the 12th century as a small fishing village. Today, it's known for its elaborate canal system, artistic heritage, and narrow houses with gabled facades. Amsterdam is a captivating destination due to its unique blend of historical charm and contemporary culture. The Van Gogh Museum, housing the world's largest collection of Vincent van Gogh's artworks, is a must-visit for art enthusiasts. For history buffs, the Anne Frank House offers a glimpse into the life of the young diarist and the history of World War II. During April, May, September, or October, Amsterdam is a great place to travel when the weather is generally mild. During these months, enjoying a bike ride along the city's scenic canals or exploring the vibrant Jordan neighborhood provides a delightful experience of Amsterdam's lively spirit and picturesque scenery. Next up, Athens, Greece. As the capital of Greece, Athens is a city full of history, dating back over 3,400 years. It's known as the cradle of Western civilization and the birthplace of democracy. This rich historical heritage makes Athens a fascinating destination for visitors. The Acropolis, an ancient citadel perched above the city, houses several important buildings, most notably the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena. Another must-see is the Plaka district, the city's old historical neighborhood, characterized by narrow cobblestone streets and traditional Greek architecture. The ideal time to head to Athens is during the months of April, May, September, and October when the weather is pleasantly mild. During these months, exploring the National Archaeological Museum or wandering through the ancient Agora, the heart of public life in classical Athens, offers a deep dive into Greek history and culture. With only a few more must-visit locations, it's time to journey to Prague, Czech Republic. As to the capital of the Czech Republic, this city is full of history that stretches back over a thousand years. Known for its medieval architecture and vibrant cultural scene, Prague is a popular destination for travelers. The city's historical heart, the Prague Castle, dating back to the 9th century, offers a glimpse into its majestic past. The Charles Bridge, another iconic landmark, is adorned with statues and offers scenic views of the Vltava River. For the best experience, visiting Prague in May, June, September, or October is recommended, when the weather is typically mild and the city is less crowded. During these months, exploring the old town square, home to the famous astronomical clock, or enjoying a leisurely walk through the charming streets of Malastrana reveals the city's enchanting character and rich history. Now, off to the alpine beauty of Interlaken, Switzerland. Interlaken, nestled between Lake Thun and Lake Brienz in Switzerland, has a history as a watchmaking center and a health resort town. Today, it's renowned for its adventure sports and stunning alpine scenery. Interlaken is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. Paragliding over the Swiss Alps offers an exhilarating experience with breathtaking views. For those who prefer a more relaxed pace, a boat tour on the crystal clear lake surrounding Interlaken provides serene beauty and a chance to admire the picturesque landscape. We recommend visiting this breathtaking town during June, July, and August 
when you will find warmer weather, ideal for hiking and exploring the nearby Jungfrau region. During this time, taking the scenic train journey to Jungfrau Jo, the highest railway station in Europe, or strolling through Interlaken's charming streets and parks are popular activities that showcase the natural beauty and tranquility of this Swiss gem. We have finally reached the end of our list and we don't want to forget this gem in Scotland, Edinburgh. This capital city of Scotland has a rich history that dates back to the Iron Age. It's known for its well-preserved medieval and Georgian architecture and as a center of culture and education. Edinburgh is a compelling city to visit with its dramatic setting and vibrant cultural scene. The Edinburgh Castle, perched atop an extinct volcano, offers a historical journey and stunning city views. Another highlight is the Royal Mile, a bustling thoroughfare in the old town, lined with historical landmarks, shops and cafes. Edinburgh shines during August and September, when the weather is relatively mild and the city hosts various festivals, including the famous Edinburgh International Festival and the Fringe. During these months, exploring the city's museums and galleries or hiking up to Arthur's Seat for panoramic views provides a blend of cultural and natural experiences. We hope you enjoyed this amazing tour of the 10 best places to visit in Europe. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Do you have suggestions about places to visit around the globe? Leave them in the comments and you just might see your ideas in our next video. Happy travels!